Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to set up the new Promar crab trap that we got at yesterday's big Black Friday sale. So stick with us and we'll show you how to rig this thing. Hey everybody, this is our new Promar uh, crab pot that we picked up yesterday. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this pot. Also got some family members that are using them and they seem like a really good setup. So we went and bought one yesterday. Uh, they're a great sale, Friday, uh, Black Friday sale. They're normally uh, $130, this price tag still on here. We picked this up for $75 yesterday at Fisherman's Warehouse. So we just bought one to give it a try. Um, some of the things I really like about this trap is the internal bait box. Uh, it already has a bait box built inside of the trap so you don't have to open the main lid and load bait. You can actually load it from the outside which is a really nice setup. Um, on top of that it's got a real nice big door to open up and retrieve your crab um, one thing that they do send, send with this they give you the main buoy which is nice they also give you rope uh, this poly line it's okay if you're gonna do dock crabbing um, I don't like it for boating the reason being is that it floats it also gets cut very easily with props. Um, I bought, we bought some leaded line. We're gonna use the leaded line on this trap like we do all of our other traps. Some other really nice features on this trap is that it's made out of steel and it's vinyl coated. This blue coating is vinyl, nice and thick, so you're not gonna, it's not gonna rust on you. Um, it's a very, I don't wanna say super heavy trap, but it's a nice heavy trap that uh, you're not going to have to worry about adding extra weight to it. Um, it's got enough weight in it that it's not going to get flipped over easy on the bottom. Um, these things are built to last. They look like they're nice and welded and uh, something that's going to be with you for a lot of years. It already comes rigged up with the rubber bands and the rock cord. Rock cord is necessary, so in case you lose your trap, this cord will rot and the lid will open up and the crabs can get out the crabs can get out They're, you're not going to kill them in the trap if it gets abandoned so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our uh our harness to the pot um i picked up the promar four arm four arm pot harness um harnesses make it really nice and easy to retrieve the pot nice and level so you're not pulling it up sideways mm -hmm. so when you're hooking up your harness make sure you flip the door open and hook it down here next to the uh, opening where, where the crab come in and do that on both sides that way when you go to open this door it doesn't hit the carabiners it's uh, easily opened if you hook it up here on the edges it's, you're going to have to unhook those carabiners every time to retrieve your crab. So this will be fine. You can pick the trap up straight. It's nice and level. That'll work out good. So what we like to use is the leaded line. The, this is a 100 foot reel. We usually only use 50 feet of it. Um, this line is super tough. It's leaded so it sinks when any of the excess rope you don't need for depth will sink. Um, we're going to reel out 50 feet of this 100 foot line and cut it and uh, then we'll go ahead and um, melt the ends so they don't fray. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
So we've cut our line already, our leaded line. We've cut it in half, the 100 foot into 250 foot pieces. We've taken and melted the end of the uh, rope so it doesn't fray. Put a little electrical tape on there. Now we want to tie it on to the harness. So this ring at the top of the harness, you want to run your cable through there, your line. Just want to tie whatever knot you trust. Put a bowline in here. So I'll put a bowline knot right here on the loop. Pull it good and tight. Lock that knot down. I'll double it up and put a second one on there. Just for just for fun, so we have a nice second knot locked in. Okay, so there's your knot, double knot tied to your harness. Okay, so now we're to the point where we need to put our buoy on. Uh, typically what I do is I just shove it in through the bottom, bring it back around, shove it in again through the bottom, and bring enough out the top to make a nice loop. And I just tie Decent sized loop, something that you can get a hold of with your hook when you're going to pull it out of the water. Just tie a loop right there. Pull it down nice and tight. Make sure your knot's good and locked in. And then just feed it back into your buoy, just like that. Pull backwards on your buoy so you, it's good and tight. And there you go, there's your setup. You have a place to grab it with your hook right there and pull it up out of the water now we'll show you how to put on the trailer buoy okay so now we're going to tie on our trailer buoy um, you want to have a piece of rope about three or four feet i think this one's four and a loop on the end you can tie a loop this one happens to be one that's already been sewn then you want to tie another knot on the end so it doesn't slip through the buoy so just tie a knot right there close to the loop. Then you want to send it through the top of the buoy and out the bottom. Pull it tight till that knot is seated tight against the top of the trailer buoy, just like that. And then you're going to take the rest of your rope, you're going to tie it into this loop right here. Tie it through that loop. You can use a bowline, whatever knot you're comfortable with. Pull it nice and tight. I'm having trouble. There we go. Okay. Nice tight bowline. There you go. Then this trailer buoy will, will help you identify your trap if this one gets sucked underwater. High current will tend to suck this first buoy underwater. This buoy will be floating up high where you can see it. Don't forget to write your name and uh, phone number on these buoys. Oregon uh, law requires you to identify your buoys and uh, therefore if you lose anything they know who to return it to. So that's it. That's it for setting up the Promar trap. We're going to give it a try here in a couple weeks and see how we do. Okay, well that takes care of uh, how to set up your new Promar Crab Trap. Uh, hope you guys got some good information out of this today. If you did, please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, give us a like. Help support us so we can keep bringing you videos like this. Have a great day.